Hey, Emil. Uh, just wondering, you know, as a guy who has a really good one-timer from the right side, uh, were you excited to, you know, see Patrick Laine come to the organization? And have you been, have you been maybe watching him closely and how he does it? Uh, oh yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, he and, and Ovechkin has been like one of my idols. Like so, uh, it's been great to having him here and you know just watch him and, and see how how he, he shoots and uh, does the one timers. You know, he's only been here a short time, but yeah, you know, obviously he's already gotten that shot off and scored some goals. Uh, what what areas? Are, I mean, have you already seen areas that you can apply to your game and say, hey, you know, he's he's doing this to get open or, or anything like that. Yeah. I mean, I've been watching the game from, from upstairs and I'm, I've been trying to watch his game a little bit and, uh, you know, he, he gets to those, uh, open spaces on the ice and, and get, get, get the shots through, uh, almost every time. So, uh, it's nice to see and, and I can learn a lot from him. You obviously, kind of had a, a similar ap- uh, effect in the Swedish hockey league, you know, same kind of thing for your teams there. And, and also in Finland, I mean, you're still a young guy. Do you, do you envision yourself being able to be that kind of a player potentially in the NHL someday? Yeah. I mean, we, I wish someday, uh, you know, I just had to, to work on my, my, my other part of the game. And uh, I know that will come too in the end. Uh, how, how did the last one for me? How, how tough was it to, to you know, kind of just not get off to the start maybe that you wanted to this year and then have to, you know, wait for this opportunity again? It's a little bit of both. I mean, I think it's been been good for me to to see the game from my bow and, and slow it down a little bit and, uh, you know, uh, getting comfortable with the puck and so on on practices and uh, you know, I'm ready to go. Okay, next we'll go to Mark Scheig. Go ahead, Mark. Thank you, Glenn. Emil, yeah, did Tor- Tortorella, when they sent you back, mentioned that he wanted you to get video and see the game from above and stuff like that. Just what did you learn about your game in the time off? And then what was their message to you? Like, what did they really want you to focus on? Obviously, getting more shots. Uh, that's that's one thing. And, uh, no, just getting more comfortable with the puck. Uh you know, I, I didn't felt that comfortable in the beginning. I don't know why, uh, but now I had some some practice time, and uh, you know, now I'm starting to feel feel more comfortable out there too. And uh, just gotta try to find my, my my way to to find those areas where I can get away my shots. Uh, that's how it is. Like I had to find a way. And just one more. You know, you obviously want to make an impression. I know that the bottom six, the forwards kind of get rotated. So you have an opportunity to really make an impression. What do you feel like that you need to do to stay in the lineup then? First of all, just get more shots on the net. Um, probably get into the four checks more than I did the first five games. Uh, win some puck battles, uh, you know, score some goals maybe. Uh, I mean, basically just just get some shots to the net and and good things would come from there, I think. 